A Flint man is taking it upon himself to clean up his community. It all started with a trip to a nearby park. And because of tall weeds and grasses, it was uh, and grass, it was no longer safe. Our David Sackrider caught up with him and shows us how his hard work is making an impact. This park on Flint's west side has seen better days. The grass is up above my knees in many areas. Michael Gwynn says it can't stay that way. I have a grandson I brought up here a couple weeks ago to play and it was pretty bad and there's about 20 other little kids up here trying to play and it's a horrible place for him to play when it's like this. So. Milbourne Avenue Park is the closest playground to Gwynn's home, but it's not safe for anyone to use, especially his grandson. It was hard because he want, he's only three years old and he wants to slide down all the slides and all the grass is three foot, four foot tall and you can't see to even walk around it. So Gwynn decided to do something about it. Beginning at 8 a.m. Thursday morning and armed with just a push mower, Gwynn started cutting it down. Each spot I've mowed I've already three to four times. Uh, it's a lot. It's been a few years of neglect. By noon, the park was in much better shape and others were starting to take notice. Gwynn says cutting the grass and picking up the trash means more than just giving the kids a place to play. This community is always important. Without a community, what else do we have? If we, don't, if we don't take pride in our community, who will? He hopes his work will inspire others to do the same. Just find you a place and help out. There's plenty of other parks across our city that need the help. If Gwyn has one takeaway, he says, be the change you want to see in your community. All it takes is one person to make a difference. In Flint, David Sackreiter, ABC 12 News.